Hello, Mr. Elmer. Hi, how are you today? Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm here very well. Thank I'm, you. I am very happy to hear that. Okay, thanks. Let me see. I am going to open my presentations for today. Okay. So, hello, Luis. Hello. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Okay. Uh, this is the one that we did yesterday. So we are going to start working today a little bit first with the homework. We're going to work on the homework that you had from yesterday. Hicieron la tarea? Hey, which one you say? Did you do your homework? Can I be honest? Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you say it. you did it. You didn't. Okay, if you I, I, if you didn't do it, this is the moment for you to write some sentences. Antes de que okay. se conecten todos los demás, tenga la lista. Okay. okay. I am going to remind them on the group that we are here waiting for them. Yeah, I sent you the homework yesterday. Uh, a mí no me llegó las fotos. O sea, eh, aparece que tardará no sé cuánto en llegar las fotos, dice. Exacto, pero ahí está enviado, sí. No, pero en mi, en mi WhatsApp dice que es esperando Hay dos mensajes esperando ahí. Come on. No puedo enseñarlo, ¿no? Porque... <laughs> yeah, but it, it's there. It is there. The picture is there, you see? The homework, it was there. I sent it to yeah. you. It's right there. Ta-da! <laughs> it's like, no, it's... Todavía ya por el 2000 cuando decía un archivo de 2000 y tardará 23 horas. <laughs> and it was just a picture. Well, Ah, se unió utilizando el enlace. Ah, you see? <laughs> well, if you didn't do the homework, uh, it is a moment for you to complete some sentences and uh, have something ready. Okay. And yes, it's there. It's there in the... Hey, ¿quién entró y salió del grupo? Okay. So I sent you a message that we're waiting for all the rest of classmates. Very nice, Mr. Luis, Mr. Gustavo, welcome, Mr. Ivan. It's a pleasure to have you here in class. Yesterday, I asked you to complete the, let me see, to complete the sentences about the picture and about the problems with the picture, right? That was the main idea of the homework. And I want to know what sentences did you create? Let's see the examples. What was the problem? The sentences were with there is and there are, and there isn't and there aren't, right? For you to complement the picture. Mr. Gustavo, what examples do you have? Yeah, let me see. There is a, no, there are not uh, chairs. No, there are not chairs in the dining room. Dining room. Dining room, dining room. Dining room. There are mm. no chairs in the dining room. Another dining example. Room. There is a sofa in the bathroom. There is a sofa in the bathroom. Very good, another example. Let me see. My, uh, 
I don't remember how do you say cocina? Stove. A stove. A stove. There is a stove in the living room. There is a stove in the living room. Good. Let's see. Mr. Ivan, do you have examples? Um, there is there is a table in the dining room. In the dining yeah, room. In the dining room. Any other example? Um, ah, todos los agarré sin hacer la tarea. Very <laughs> sorry. Okay. Well, can I? Yes, go ahead. A capela, como dice. Ah, yeah, I can see. <laughs> okay. Um, there is a sofa in the bathroom. There is a sofa in the bathroom. Very good. Um, there is a bed in the kitchen. Very good. Um, there is a refrigerator in the bedroom. There is a refrigerator in the bedroom. Very good. And there is a stove, a stove in the living room. In the living room. Very good job. Thank you, Elmer. Out of hand, right? <laughs> De la manga. <laughs> Very good. Mr. Luis Gonzalez, do you have examples for the homework? There is a stove in the living room. Uh -huh. There is a mirror in the bathroom. There is a mirror in the bathroom. Good. There is a, uh, how do you say, librera? This book, book case. Book case in the bedroom. Very good. Yeah, there is a desk in the in the bedroom. There is a desk in the bedroom. Good. There is a, a there are a ropa. How do you say ropa? There, there is. <laughs> okay. There is a mess, I can say. There is a mess in the bedroom. Hay un gran relajo. Or yeah, okay. there are, or there is clothing in, on the floor. There is clothing on the, the floor. floor. The yeah, on the floor. Good. So, what is the problem with the uh, with the bedroom? What is something that we don't have in the bedroom? The bedroom refrigerator. No, no, no. Yeah, something that we don't have. ¿Qué es lo que no tenemos en la cama? ¿The bed? Ajá, uh -huh. so you bed. say, there is no... A bed. Ah, there is no bed there in no the... Bed. There is no bed in the in bedroom, the right? There is no bed in the bedroom. Good. Let me see. The next one. There is no... Uh, let me see. In the kitchen, what is the problem? What is something that we don't have in the kitchen? Yes. There is no stove in the kitchen. There is no stove in the kitchen, right? There is no stove in the kitchen. What about in the living room? What is something that we don't have in the living room? There is no sofa. There is no television. Very good. There is no television, right? There is no television in the living room. There are no sofas. There are no sofas in the living room. Let me see. In in the kitchen, what is missing? There is no uh, refrigerator. Stop. Stop. There is no stove and there is no refrigerator in the kitchen because the refrigerator is in the bedroom. In the bedroom, bedroom right? But mm -hmm. we never know. Quizás le daba hambre. Right? We never know. Yeah. Uno no sabe. Las hambres de la gente. So there is uh, there is uh, no refrigerator in the bedroom, in the kitchen. Sorry, it is in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know you. I don't know you. But in in the mm. pandemic, in the COVID closing, cuando cerraron todo en la pandemia, yo no no sabía ni a qué horas me dormía, ni a qué horas despertaba. <laughs> <laughs> so it was necessary the refrigerator in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, todas las series ahí a, a medianoche. 
So it is necessary. But you need the TV in the living room. Excellent. So that was the problem with this picture, right? That you have different things in incorrect places, right? We have different things in incorrect places. Yesterday, we read about uh, Mrs. Cisneros and Mrs. Nelson, right? This is what we did yesterday. And today, we are going to work a little bit on professions and occupations, right? We are going to work on professions and occupations. What is what is your profession or your occupation? Yesterday you told me I am a seller, I am a security guard, I am a um, computer engineer, and you were telling me different professions. But the question for today, the question for today, if you didn't have the profession that you have, which profession would you like to have? Si no fueran lo que son ahorita, ¿qué le gustaría haber sido? In my case, astronaut. <laughs> yeah, what a beautiful thing. Astronaut. I would have a like to be a veterinarian. Yeah. What about you, Mr. Gustavo? What would be your dream profession? Um, maybe a... Uh... I study telecommunication engineering. Okay. But for a career, I think doctor maybe. A doctor. Mm -hmm. Are you good with blood and things? Con sangre y esas cosas? Um, mm, uh, how do you say? Oculista? Uh, an eye doctor. Eye doctor, yes. An eye doctor. That would be a very good profession. Very good. Ivan, an astronaut. Uh, maybe, uh, how do you say, veterinario? A vet. vet. Like me. Elmer? I could be a doctor. A dog, another doctor, my God. Any special type of doctor? <laughs> what, what type general of doctor? doctor. General one? doctor. A general, general doctor. doctor. Yeah. A plastic surgeon, right? <laughs> they have a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Mr. Luis? I could. Uh, electronic engineering. An electronic engineer. That's good. Angelica, what will be your dream profession? Maybe a teacher. A teacher. Oh, yeah. That's so good. You see? I never imagined, I never, but never in the life imagined that I was going to be a teacher. Never, <laughs> never in the life. No, cuando tenía como 16, 17, decía yo, cualquier cosa, menos maestra. <laughs> 19 años después me muerdo la lengua. But do you like <laughs> it? I, I, I didn't know that I like it. But the oh, first okay. day in the first class, I discovered that I love it. My first class was when I was going to be 18. I was about to be wow. 18 and I like it. And I have been in this for 19 years. 19 años llevo aquí en esto. Wow. <laughs> and I love it and I love it. It's fantastic. Yeah, I think it's my dream thing. But I want to be a veterinary. So how do you say? Teacher. How do you? Yes. How do you say in English? Le uh, fascina. I love it. You say, I love it. Yes, Mister. Yeah, <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you love it, and I can see it. Yes, Mister. Luis. Okay. Uh, uh, Nineteen year learning teach ever. Yeah, I have been a teacher for for nineteen years. Okay. ¿Cuántos años cree que tengo? <laughs> ¿Cuántos años cree que tengo? Uh, 38. Hmm? 37. 37. <laughs> 30, 38. I, I am going to be 38 uh -huh. este año. This year, I am going to be 38. I didn't no. have a I didn't have a DUI when I started. <laughs> I was illegal. 
but it's ah. it was it was fantastic but it's it's nice wow. yo le digo a mi hijo yo me muerdo la lengua porque dije jamás voy a ser maestra en mi vida <laughs> Y yo ahora, en fin, la hipocresía. La hipotenusa. Brenda, what is your dream profession? Miss Brendita, what is your dream profession? Chan, chan, chan. We lost Brendita. Brenda. Señorita Brenda. Se le solicita en la clase. There you go. She's there. Repeat, please. What is your dream profession? My profession is business administration. Ah, but that is it for real. Esa es la de verdad. Yes. And what is one that you dream about, that you want to be? La que sueña, uh, con la que le gustaría ser. Uh, cirujano plastic. A plastic surgeon. <laughs> yes. Loves the money. A lot of money. <laughs> A lot of money. Mr. Salvador, what is your dream profession? Uh, my dream profession is military. A military? Yeah. Wow. Hey, that's nice. <laughs> Mr. Gerard? Uh, astronaut? An astronaut. That would be fantastic. That would be fantastic to see the world from the outside. Si es magnífico verlo desde un avión, imagínese verlo desde el espacio. It would be like, wow, it's beautiful. Mr. Mario. Oh, Mr. Mario is connecting with the audio. What is your dream profession? Okay, we're going to wait for Mr. Mario to connect. So, this is uh, the difference, right? About the professions that we have and the professions that we would like to have. And for sure, occupations are the things that we learn without going to the university. For example, you can be an engineer, a construction engineer or something, but a builder, a builder, un albañil, it's an occupation. And you learn that. I mean, with life, another person can teach you. You can have an example to follow. And that's an occupation. Maybe uh, I started to be a teacher, but I have other occupations, right? I can design, I can create, and I can do things. And that is an occupation because I didn't study that, but I can do it. If you are a dancer, for example, and you didn't go to the university, but you teach Zumba. Teach Zumba, okay? No agarre, teach Zumba. That's the difference. <laughs> no agarre Zumba, solo enseñe Zumba o baile Zumba. That's a, a tip for life. So, but don't... <laughs> that is the difference between the professions and the occupations. For the professions, you go to the university and you study and you practice and everything. And for an occupation, is something that you do that is not your main career, but you like it. Tell me one profession that you would never be. One thing that you say, hmm, never in the life. Accountant. Accountant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Accountant. Yeah, it's a lot of numbers. It's like, oh no. You hate that number. No, I, I, in, it's funny. <laughs> Les cuento un chiste. Yo saqué contaduría pública en bachillerato. And I hate, I hate numbers. I hate numbers. The balance. Another hipocrisia. You see? El karma. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Gustavo, tell me one profession that you would never be. I never be lawyer. A lawyer. Good. A I lawyer. love her. A lot of letters. Yeah, a lot of letters, papers, books, and stuff. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Lawyer, no. Mr. Ivan? Uh, maybe foreign medical. Yeah, a foreign doctor. A foreign doctor. All right. <laughs> it's like, y el otro pedazo. You. Elmer, tell me one profession that you would never be. Uh, 
uh, a lawyer too. A lawyer. Because, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like it. Mr. Luis? Uh, maybe I never criminalist. A criminalist. Good, very good. Miss Angelica? An accountant, you told me, right? An accountant. Yes. Brenda, one that you would never be? Um, police. A police. Yes, mm. it's too dangerous. <laughs> Mr. Gerard? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, only Carol amazing. Yeah, all, the, all of them are amazing, but maybe one that you don't like? No, I don't know. No. You don't know, right? You like all mm -hmm. of them. That's good. Uh, Mr. Salvador, uh, you told me, well, you want to be a military, but one that you don't like? Uh, police. The police. No, no, police. The police. Similar. But you want to be a military, but not a police. <laughs> Similar. Uh -huh. No, no, it's different. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, police. It, it is different. Maybe yeah, a, a military, maybe the, the capitán or this, like the top um, things, right? Sí, uh, General. <laughs> A general. Oh, Persa area. <laughs> oh, wow. On the Air Force. Yeah. Nice. Mr. Mario, one profession that you would never be. Hola, hello. Mm, hola, hello. <laughs> <laughs> because Mr. Mario appears and disappears. Okay, Kayla, one profession that you would never be? Miss Kayla, hello. Teacher, <laughs> you will never be a teacher. Okay, good. So we're going to wait for Mr. Mario and Kayla to answer because they got lost. Excellent. So one profession that I will never be after the accountant, uh, I would never be a fireman or a firefighter, un bombero. It's too risky. It's too dangerous. It's very risky, it's very risky and, and you can die. I mean, it's, it's, very, it's very dangerous. So here we have different professions and occupations, right? We were studying these ones yesterday. We, we saw them in the platform. And here we have a cashier. A cashier may be something that I wouldn't like to be because you have to deal with a lot of money. And if one dollar is missing, <laughs> it's from your pocket, right? The two bolts. I, I pay. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, you have to pay. And that's no, that's not from God. And let's see, a cook or a chef. I like that one. I, I would like love it. to be a chef. I like it. Yes, I like it. I prepare some very good pupusas, so I could be a very good mm. chef. Yeah, aprobados aquí por todo. A doctor. Well, we have doctors here. Mr. Gustavo would be an eye doctor. And also, uh, who is the other doctor? Ah, Mr. Elmer, right? Yeah. And Brenda that wants to be a, a surgeon. A flight attendant. I wanted to be a flight attendant. Ese era mi fin principal, to be a flight attendant. But then I ended up teaching and I was like, then, Maris. okay, yeah, a flight attendant. You see, in the, in the year when I was going to enter to the university, it happened, the thing with the Twin Towers, pasó lo de las Torres Gemelas. Y ahí mi papá se paniqueó y me dijo, no, ¿cómo vas a ser hermosa? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am here. <laughs> a judge. A judge is the person who takes care of all the criminals and the, uh, the sentences and all that for the criminals. The lawyer, right, that you don't like it. A musician. I would love to be a singer, but not a musician. Because I am not good with the musical instruments. Who is good with the musical instruments here? ¿Quién es bueno con los instrumentos musicales? No? no, I'm not good. <laughs> You're not good. <laughs> only, the, only the triangle, no. <laughs> the weirdo. <laughs> uh, 
I practice piano. Okay. Oh, you practice piano. Good, yeah. Mr. Gerard. That's very nice. Who can play the guitar? Oh. I can touch it, but I cannot play it. I practice <laughs> harmonic. Oh, you practice the harmonic. Wow, Marvin, very nice. No, I, I am bad. I think my connection between head and hands, <laughs> it's not very good. Por eso no ando en bici. <laughs> my connection between head, hands, and what? legs. No, I, I am not good. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, musician. But I can sing. I love to sing. I cannot, but I, I love to. Let's see. A nurse, right? The nurse is the right hand of the doctor. A pilot, right? Pilot. A pilot, maybe the one, oh, Salvador, who wants to be in the Air Force. He could be a pilot. A police officer that you don't want to be. A receptionist. A receptionist job, I think it's nice, right? It's like, buena bienvenida, see. <laughs> Next. So it's very nice. Boring, but nice. A salesperson. This is a very difficult job. To convince the client, it's very difficult. But there are some people who are very good on this one. Uh, let's see, who is, uh, I think Gustavo is a salesperson, right? And it's difficult to deal with the clients or not? Yes, it's difficult. Yeah. A lot of mostly, <laughs> mostly when they have a problem with the product. Yes. Usted me dijo que esto no se me iba a arruinar nunca. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Esa garantía ya tiene siete años, señor. <laughs> a security guard. A security guard's job, it's like kind of nice. But the bodyguard, like Mr. Elmer, yeah. I think it's not easy, right? No. No, right. Your life is in danger all the time. A singer. Yeah. Maybe after maybe it's a shot. Okay. In the shower. In the shower. My my shampoo, my shampoo loves it. Right. <laughs> the waiter, that is the person who serves the food, another person who has a difficult job. Right? It's like, no, 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 no. What a difficult thing. Hace rato que le pedí a mi comida. No. <laughs> A waitress, it's a lady, right? The lady who attends in the restaurant. And it is another difficult job. So uh, yesterday when we were practicing about this, we mentioned that when you uh, talk about a profession, you say he is a teacher, he is a lawyer, right? You use the, the word ah in this case, right? He is a lawyer, he is a teacher, uh, she is a nurse, she is a secretary, and you use a and n, right? Because when you translate that, when it's like, él es un doctor, un maestro, un eh, mesero, right? You specify. And so you use, she is a, and we're going to have here a doctor. And you need to remember that in these cases, you use it in the sentence, right? You don't say she's doctor, she's a doctor, she is an engineer, right? Depending on the word that it starts, you say she is an engineer. In this case, you cannot say she is a engineer. Porque no podemos tener dos vocales juntas. She is an engineer. Good. So here I have the representations of the other professions. What are their professions? For number four, he is a? Pilot. 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 Number five? Flight attendant. Fly attendant. He is a? He is a flight attendant. A fly Very attendant. good. A fly attendant. Number six? He is a musician. He is a musician. He is a musician. Musician. Okay, because you have musician. music. Mm. Musician, Mus right? Musician. Okay, number seven. She is a singer. She is a singer. A singer. Very good. She's a singer. <laughs> number eight. She's a, she is a, is a, a, she's a lawyer. Judge. She's no. a judge. She's a judge. A judge, a judge right? She's a judge. Number nine. 
He's a police officer. He's a police officer. Number 10. He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer, right? He's a lawyer. Liar, no, lawyer. Number 11. He's, he's a, a chef. A chef or he's a cook. He's a chef or he's a cook. Number 12. She's a waitress. He's a waiter. He's a waiter. He's a waiter. And she's a waitress. 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 He's like this one. Uh, let me see. I have here uh, like these two professions that you have. Actor and actress. Actor is for the men and actress is for the for the girls, for the women, right? And uh, number 14. He's a salesperson. He's a salesperson. He's a salesperson. Number 15. He's a cashier. She is a cashier. And number 16. She's a security guard. She is a security guard, right? She's a security guard. Good. So uh, when you talk about professions and occupations, right, you have three different questions. When you say, what is his profession? Where does he work? And what does he do? When you use these three types of questions, you focus on different information. What is his profession? You talk about, for sure, the things that he or she does for a living. In this case, I have, he is a chef. Where does he work? Donde que trabaja? You need a place, right? He works in a restaurant. And what does he do? Que actividades hace? What does he do? He cooks, he washes the dishes, he attends the customers, he works all day. For example, in my profession, she is a teacher, right? Where does she work? She works at the school. She works at the school, right? She works with S, right? She works at the school. What does she do? What does a teacher do? And English. She speaks English. Okay, she teaches. She a teacher. Teaches English, right? It is good. And be careful with the profession. It is a teacher, no a t-shirt. T-shirt <laughs> is camisa. Camisa. <laughs> and teacher is a profession, right? We need to be very careful. I want to be a t-shirt, you say. No, it's a teacher. What about the profession of, uh, let me see. A doctor. What does a doctor do? He uh -huh. operates. Okay. He, okay. He operate. attends. He operates. He mm -hmm. makes surgeries. What else does a doctor do? He attends patients. He helps mm -hmm. people. What else? He prescribes medicine. He checks the patients. Mm, open your eyes. He checks the patients. Uh, mm -hmm. What else? What about the next one? I am going to change this one. The profession is going to be, aha. Uh -huh. The profession is going to be this one. She is a housewife. La profesión de todas las profesiones. She is a housewife. Una ama de casa. Where does she work? She works in the house. She, she works, works in the house. At the home, house. right? She works at, at home or house. in the house. And what does she do? Uh-huh. She cooks. She attends children. She attends children. children and the husband. 
Back to another, watch, another TV. She watches TV. <laughs> La <laughs> novela. <laughs> she watches, yeah, yeah, honestly, uh, they do, but in la novela mientras hacen limpieza. <laughs> well, right now, right now she's there like in, in, in Facebook, right? <laughs> Los frijoles. <laughs> She's in Facebook. Right, but she cooks, she cleans, she organizes the house, she helps the children, she helps the husband, she washes the clothes, she irons the clothes, right? Bueno, una esposa de cada sí plancha, pero yo no plancha. <laughs> she, she sleeps. <laughs> sí, Angélica de las mías, yo no plancha. Teacher, how do you how do you say uh, vecina vecino neighbor <laughs> neighbor she she talks. She, <laughs> la vecina. she speak <laughs> she talks with the neighbor all day all day come on mm. well you have to be very careful if the neighbor is a man. Ah, you have to be careful there. Sí, porque así se la esposa se pasa todo el día platicando ya con el vecino. Mm. Y el hijo se parece no. un vecino. Todavía. Ajá, socio. <risa> socio, compartamos los, los recibos aquí porque. Ah, porque... Y ahí, ahí ya le hacen horas extra. <risa> so you have to be very careful. Ajá. Well, it's the same with the men, right? Si ya mucho platica con la vecina, tiempo de cambiarse de casa. She talks with the neighbors. She watches soap operas. She watches, and you say soap operas. Soap operas is novelas. Soap operas. Soap operas. Right? Very good. So, a uh, in this case, the soap operas, it's novelas. She attends the kids, she attends the house, she helps at home, she's a doctor, she's a psychologist, she's everything. She is a do it all. all. She's a do it all, it's like all. Right? All. A, do, a do it all. And all. It's yeah. false, Daisy. <laughs> do, do you like to wash the dishes? <laughs> no, right? But the wife does it. I don't like it. Well, si tienen lavadora de platos, ahí sí, vea. Pero en la lavadora. <laughs> Un montón de wish te vamos a sacar. Teacher. Yes. Uh, she is or he is a dot it all. Uh, I do. Can, uh -huh. uh, I do uh, it all. Uh, can be in the office, for example. Yes. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I do it all, right? In the office, I am a do it all. Right, I am the director, the designer, the limpia, the ordinal. I am everything there. She's a do it all, and it it applies for the office as well, right? ¿Quién lo va a hacer? Iván. Pedile a Iván que lo haga. No, Iván va. Iván puede. No. no. Exactly. So like it is not in my contract. You say. <laughs> She said, do it all. So those are the three questions. What is his or her profession? Where does he work? And what does she do? For where does he work? It's for the place. And what does she do? It's for the activities that you do in your job. So uh, for the students, right? Most of the students nowadays that they are in their houses, what is the only thing that they do? They eat, they play video games, sleep, wake up in the morning, then he eats again. That is the life of a student. And for the doctor, for the doctor, he attends the patients, he gives medicine and he saves lives. That is what a doctor does. Now, if you are going to say this, 
for you using he or she, how would you transform these sentences? ¿Cómo transformarían esas oraciones usando he or she? I do he exercise. Does. He, he, does. Does. Yeah. he does. He does exercise. He does exercise. Very good. What about um, the next one? I listen to the teacher. She listen. She listens to the teacher, right? She listens to the teacher. I copy the class. She copies the class. She copies the class. I participate in class. He participates in class. He participates in class. Participates, right, with S. He participates in class. I work on the books. She works, she works, on, she works on, on the books. books. She works, right? She works she on the works. books. And I study for the exams. She studies for the exams, right? In this case, when you talk about the activities that a person does, when you use he or she, you have to change the verb for the third person singular, yes. right? So uh, in this case, can you tell me professions who work in the hospital? I have the doctor, the nurse. Security guard. The security guard. Um, what else? Secretary. The secretary, good. The secretary, the receptionist, good. Another one. Driver for the ambulance. Driver, very Driver. good. Another one. Mm. The janitor. Do you know what's a janitor? The janitor. Yeah. The janitor, el ordenanza. El si no, el hospital. No, All no, dirty, no, right? Janitor. <laughs> the janitor, um, right? Yeah. The accountant. Good. The accountant. Because, I mean, you need to charge some money, right? A menos que sea hospital de gratis. An accountant, <laughs> a janitor, uh, the security guard, the nurse, the doctor, the patients, right? All of them work in, an, in, in a hospital. Professions who work in an office. The a lawyer. The lawyer. Auditor. Auditor. Which the one? receptionist. The receptionist. Which one? Uh, auditor. The auditor. Good. Sorry, I had bad internet connection. The auditor, <laughs> right? The auditor. Hey, <laughs> and más temido de todos. Ay, auditoría. Corran por su vida. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, but it's true. Sí o no que todos salen huyendo cuando usted llega. Es cierto. It's true. Right? No ha odiado. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like, auditoría, no, corran espartanos por su vida. Yeah. <laughs> A sacar papeles de donde no hay, right? Yeah. Good. An auditor. Let's see. Another person who works in an office. The accountant. The accountant. Human resources. The human resources, right? The psychologist. Uh, let's Account. see. The accountant. Some doctors also have an office. What are professions who work in a store? Customer service. Customer service. All the ones related with customer service. What else? How, the salesperson? Logistica? Well, the logistic. The logistic manager, right? Mm -hmm. He works in a store. The janitor. The, janitor, the manager, the, the CEO. Operation manager. The operations right. manager. The um the cashiers, right? The cashiers. Mm -hmm. The um, well, we have security guards also. And what about in a hotel? What professions work in a hotel? The receptionist. The receptionist. The janitor. No. Chef. The chef. The chef. chef. Good. The yes. bartender. The, the driver. The driver. Good. Okay. 
here we have a bartender, right? Where is it? To say, say, the carga las maletas. ¿Cómo se? Ah, that is the. the... Botones. Yes. Botones. Yeah, but it has a name in English. Botones. Yes. Botones. Wait, 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 wait. The valet, valet parking. The valet parking, right? Manager. Uh, the manager. Manager. Good. Let me see. The bell boy. Bell boy. Bell boy. Bell boy. The bell boy. I am going to write it here. Let me give me some uh, seconds. I am going to write it here. It is called the bell boy. The bell boy. El botones. Bell boy. Bell boy. For sure, the driver, because you have different limousines there and taxis in the hotel. And tell me professions who wear a uniform. A policeman. The policeman, good. The military. The doctor, the militars, good. Pilot. The pilot, the teachers, they wear a uniform. Well, uh -huh. the, the waiter, the fireman. the fireman, good. The chef, maybe. The chef, very good. <clears throat> Tell me professions who have to stand up all day. Están parados todo el día. Cashiers. Security guard. The security guard. The, security guard. the sellers. Know. The doctors. Chef. The chef, right? And now, on the contrary, tell me a profession that is sitting all the day. A secretary. The secretary. The okay. call center agents, okay. right? The accountant. The driver. The drivers, right? The Ubers also. Tell me a profession that handles a lot of money. The cashier. cashier. The cashier. Yeah. The cashier. The doctor. The cashier. <laughs> the doctor too. Doctor too. That, in that one, that one he receives. He receives. <laughs> right? Handles the money, the secretary that charges everything, right? Okay. Ah, lo vio el doctor, sí, 100 dólares, ah, sí. Lo, lo revisó, ah, pues son 200, fíjese, sí. Platicó con usted, sí, ah, pues 300, fíjese, sí. Le dio medicina, 500, fíjese. <ríe> Miren, mejor ven. Solo muestra. <ríe> el jarabe aquí, al poquito así. Solo muestra, ¿no? Y porque lleva 15 botes de jarabe. <ríe> <laughs> Just a little bit on each of them. Good. Doctores del mundo los amamos. <laughs> no, no, <jodí. laughs> Ok, si un doctor está viendo esa clase, es mentira. Todo es diversión. <laughs> Esto lo hago para divertirme. <laughs> <¿Qué residente? Okay. laughs> Presidente, el doctor. <laughs> Ok, hey. good. Ya ven, a, to, a, todo, a todos les gusta, a todos les gusta el chambre, ya lo vi. Todo va a ser real. Let's see. Tell me a profession that talks to people. The, the, the English teacher. The English teacher. <laughs> yeah, we talk a lot. A person who works at night. A bartender. A bartender, right? The teacher, right? And there are there are other professions that work at night, but we are not going to mention them, okay? No, 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 no. The dancers. All dance. Shh, niño. <laughs> the dancers in general, right? <laughs> Hay unos que son bien pobrecitos que bailan ahí sin camisa. Pobrecito. Pobrecito. Me han contado. ¿Cómo sabe? Me han contado. <risa> Amor, solo me han contado. Pero ganan bien, dice. En after show, a eh, lot of money. Bikini. What do you know? En serie sale. <risa> Tell me the name of a profession who works hard. I think all the professions work hard. Some of them a lot, some of them a little, some of them in some days, but all of them work hard. And a profession who writes tickets, the police. The police. 
right. A person who writes tickets for the parking and everything, the police. So you have to be very careful with those. Here I have an example of a conversation and it is a very funny situation. Let's pay attention to it. I am going to read it for you and pay attention for new vocabulary, new words or things that are new for you. If you don't know the meaning of something, tell me. And it says, where does your brother work? In a hotel? Or oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. Hmm, how does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. Hmm, that's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. Hmm, that's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Oops. <laughs> So you say, Ush, he hates the manager. Mm, my brother is the manager. <laughs> another manager, not your brother, another Oops, manager. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll be like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's like, mira que malca el gerente. Verame. Ah, my brother is the manager. Ah, otro gerente que llega a veces. <laughs> el que le cubre. <laughs> the second manager is the problem. <laughs> New words or new vocabulary that you have there? New words? No? Uh, this agent. agent. Very good. A front desk agent. A front desk agent, it's a person that is here. It's not a receptionist, but it's a person who checks on the clients, right? Mm. It's similar to a receptionist, but he checks on clients, names, reservations, and all that. So he's oh. a front desk agent. It's like when you go to the airport. Have you seen, I don't know if you have seen in the airport that there are a lot of people receiving the passengers and they check, right? Type they checking. Check. Exactly. Type checking, check out. Exactly. So that is a front desk agent. Okay. Another one? Well, the manager is el gerente, right? Gerente. Um, let me see. When you say, that's funny. It's like, ah, qué gracioso, qué curioso. Uh, My brother are... works. Uh -huh. Interesting, uh, how they pronounce. How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Interesting. 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 Interesting, right? Interesting. 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 Okay, let me play the pronunciation for you. I have it right here. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, interesting. You have it. Uh -huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, you can have interesting. There are other people who say interesting, and it's also correct. Okay. Interesting, it can be, and it's also useful, and it is also easy. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 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 Good. So let's practice the pronunciation and the conversation here. Where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? In a hotel. In a hotel. In a hotel. In a hotel. Or really? Or really? Or really? Or really? My brother works in a hotel too. My brother, My brother works in a hotel, hotel too. too. He's a front desk agent. He's a front desk agent. Front desk agent. How does he like it? How does he like, he like it? it? Not very much. Not, Not very, very much. much. Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. He doesn't, he doesn't like the manager. manager. That's too bad. That's too bad. Too bad. What hotel does he work for? What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. The plaza. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. My brother works there too. My, work. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. 
Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? What does he do? Actually, actually, he's the manager. He's the manager. In this case, when you say actually, no decimos actualmente, decimos en efecto. You say actually, he's the manager. Right? That's that's the difference here with actually and actualmente in English is nowadays. Wow. Nowadays. But actually it's like en efecto. Eh, es el gerente. Mm -hmm. Mr. Luis en Angelica. Go ahead. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How oh, does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. But does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Oops, <laughs> actually, he is the manager. <laughs> good, very good. And in here, do you have, do we have any other two volunteers who want to practice the pronunciation in the conversation? Volunteers, five, four, three, two. Man. Okay, good. Marvin and Mr. Gustavo. And Elmer. <laughs> okay. Elmer, you're <laughs> going to do it later. Uh, Marvin and Gustavo, and then Elmer and Ivan. Go ahead. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a, a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from this agent. 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 How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That is too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That is funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Very good job. Very good job. Now, let's go with Mr. Elmer. Go ahead. Anyone? Action. Hey. hey, what happened? Mr. Elmer, your microphone is off. El secreto de la vida nos estaba dando. Go ahead. Where, One, two, three. Action. Where does you, your brother work? In the hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in the hotel too. He is a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Very good job, very good job. In a hotel, right? Don't say hotel, it's a hotel. hotel. And agent, agent, right? But for the rest, it was very, very good. So the simple questions that we have been practicing in the class are the ones presented here. When you say, where do you work? You investigate and talk about the place. In a hospital, what do you do? The profession, I am a doctor. How do you like it? Lo disfruta, sí o no? You say, I really like it. If you say, how do you like being a teacher? I love it. It's fantastic. It's marvelous. I, I, I just love it, right? But maybe some people, they say, mm, I hate it. I hate it, but I do it for the money. We never know, right? We never know. And... It says like, where does he work? When you use he or she, you say does, 
Where does he work? What does he do? How does he like it? And for plurals, you say, how do they work? Uh, how do they like it? Sorry. What do they do? And where do they work? So this is for the three forms. For the first person, do. For third person, he, she, it, does. And for plurals, do. So just to finish with one example, uh, Mr. Gerard, where yeah. do you work? I work a manager of the gym. Let me say, where? Where do you work? In the place? In the gym. In the up the gym or in the gym. No, okay. in the gym. I work in in the gym, right? Or in I a in a in gym. gym. What do you do? Uh, I manager at the gym. I am a manager. You say I, I am manager. a manager. How do you like it? Mm. Lo disfruta, sí, no. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I do. <laughs> so you say, I really like it. It's okay, right? I like it. I like it. And let's see, one final example with, vamos a ver quién no ha hablado mucho ahora. Mr. Mario, are you there? Mario Saldívar, Mario Saldívar. Mario, where do you work? Se durmió. <laughs> okay, Elmer, where do you work? Um, I'm a driver. Okay, where? Where? Donde? Where? In an oh. office. Uh, I mean, where? Where? And the, in the company. In a company. What do you yeah. do? I am a driver. I am a driver. How do you like it? I really like it. I really like it, right? So that's the example. Well, my dear students, it's time to finish. We are going to continue with this topic tomorrow, okay? So have a beautiful night, sleep well, rest a lot, and practice your vocabulary because tomorrow you are going to use it. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for sharing in class, and I am going to see you tomorrow for another you, class. Yes, Mr. Mario has a problem, it says, in the, in the chat. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.